Give me a moment. Hi guys, can you hear me? Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Oh, hold on. Hi guys, can everybody see me and hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay, good, good. All right, how are you today? <laughs> You're tired? Always. I know, I know. Yeah, but um, but I, I thank you guys that you're always connected and that shows a lot of uh, commitment from your part. So good for you. Yes, I I encourage you guys that you're you're doing a very good job. Hello, Nelson. Hello. Hi, how are you? Very good, and you? Good, good, good. All right, and oh. how was your day? Very good. Oh, good. Very good. Okay, good, good. Okay. Hello, Emily, how are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine, thank you. Good, good. Okay, how was your day? Busy as always, but happy. Oh, good. I'm happy. I'm that. Finished. I'm happy. That's excellent. Okay, good. Okay. And Jorge, welcome. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Uh, pretty good. Yeah? Yes, because oh. it's Wednesday. Yes, we're in the middle of the week. Yay. Yes. Yes. I know. It's, it's great. It's great to be it's able a motivation. To... Sorry? It's a motivation to continue. Oh, yes, you're right. It is a motivation. Yeah, I totally agree. Yes, good. Yeah, well only two. Well, um, do you do you work do you work on weekends too? No, teacher, just to Friday, I return to San Salvador. Okay, okay, okay. Well, yeah, okay, so hopefully then um, you will be able to, um, you know, rest a little bit on the weekend. A ver si no está lloviendo demasiado on the weekend. Here, here is raining all the afternoon. Oh, okay, okay. Well, my, in my house, it, it wasn't exactly raining. Um, it was just really, really dark around. Mm. Yeah, okay. All right. Um, uh, Beatrice, are you having problems with your camera? Yes, because uh, I'm looking for another camera. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, because I noticed we can't. It's some. It's like you're. You, it's on, but we can't see you. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what happened with the computer because it's new and has this problem. But yeah. I mean, I mean, it happens. Yeah. Um. Okay. Well, hopefully, hopefully it will. Um, it will resolve soon. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. Um, so I'm going to be uh, taking attendance right now. Okay. So, um, okay. So we start with uh, Annie. Annie.
No, no, Ani. Okay. Eh, Ana María. Ana María. No. Okay. Carolina. Chicos, se me hace el favor de encender su camarita que veo que no. Creo que es como el sol la mitad veo. Carolina, no? Hmm. Okay, I'm a little worried about Carolina is always here. Okay, uh, Emily? Listen. Welcome, Emily. Hazel. Hazel? No? Okay. Joanna. Joanna? Jorge? Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Jorge. Thank you. And Karina? Karina? Carla? Welcome, Carla. Thank you. Kevin? Kevin? Santiago? Linda? Linda? Okay. Um, Marlene? Present teacher. Welcome, Marlene. Uh, are you having problems with the camera? Um, no, but it's showing well with my computer. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Um, perfect. Uh, Nelson G. Present. Welcome, Nelson. Norma. Norma? No, okay. Olga? Present teacher. Welcome, Olga. Miguel? Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Miguel. Rocio? Present. Okay, welcome, Rocio. Thank you. And Rose, no, sorry, Be Beatrice? Present, teacher. Welcome, Beatrice. And Suleima? Present. Welcome, Suleima. And Tatiana? Present teacher. Welcome, Thank you. And uh, Nelson? Nelson A? Okay. Omar? Listen. Welcome, Omar. Suleyma Melgar? And Jose Rodrigo? Okay. All right. All right, guys. Uh, let me just make sure that I didn't miss anybody. I didn't hear Ani, Ana Maria, Carolina, Hazel, Joanna. Hola, present. Ah, welcome, Joanna. Thank you. I didn't hear Santiago, Linda, Norma, Nelson Alfaro, is Sulema Melgar and Jose Rodrigo. Okay, perfect. All right, guys. Um, so today um, we're going to, well, okay. Tell me when you can see my PowerPoint, please.
Yes. Yes. I can see. Right. Yeah. Okay, great. So today our topic um, is vocabulary branding. Okay. Um, and uh, your facilitator, Sosica Guerrero, is the intermediate three. It's, uh, class is May 25th, 2022, and it's class number 17. Okay. All right, so uh, do you remember this conversation from yesterday? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. All right. So um, we were going, I told you that we were going to be checking the answers to this because we didn't have a chance to discuss this yesterday. So let's talk about this right now. So it says, look at the conversation and answer the sentences. What product is Josue mm -hmm. selling? Diapers. Right. Uh, right, very good, diapers. And what is an, an appealing? Remember what the word appealing? Remember that word? In Spanish, it's característica. Uh, no, appe appealing. It's appealing. like attractive. Attractive. Mm -hmm. It's attractive. And so in other words, an attr attractive, uh, an attractive feature or, um, yeah, an attractive feature of the product. What is it? Environment friendly. friendly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's environmental, environmentally friendly, right? Or environmental environment friendly um what does that mean environment friendly don't tell me in spanish please tell me in english what does that mean good for the environment it's good for the environment exactly exactly very and or somebody else said like ecological yeah yes very good. And next question. Is the target audience interested in buying the product the Swiss sells? Yes, they are. How do you know? Because he says that they prefer to buy the Joshua's diapers instead of the, the ones that they can buy in the supermarket. Yeah, exactly. So there, notice it says, I see a lot of people. Yeah. So it's not just a few people, you know, it, you know, it's obviously a lot of people that are interested, right? A lot of people. Okay. And uh, what does Amy suggest? All his brand, no brand for attention. Uh huh. Very good. They could, you can call them no brand. Right? All right. So the question then is um, Have you ever heard of this marketing strategy, no brand? No, teacher. No, teacher. No, I have never. No? No. No, not at all? Sin mar. Hmm? No, teacher. Nobody has heard of it? No? No? No. Basically, uh, what it is is that a company um, decides that instead of 
giving a name to their their um, um, their product, they're simply not going to name it at all. They're not going to give it a name. Yeah. Does that make sense? Mm, but how you know what are you uh, buying? For example. Um, so basically they, they, um, they can just like use, like, for example, the name, it's like saying you could, you could probably just call them diapers. Okay. Yeah. So really, I mean, diapers is just telling you what it is, the, what the product is. You but call to the product uh, with the function of mm -hmm. the product. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Or simply say no brand. Something mm -hmm. that is not that that is it doesn't have a name. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. So, why do you think this might be? Why why do you think this might be um, useful? or successful, why? I think that um, anyone can copy your name, first of all. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, anything else? Any other reasons? It's like you don't need copyright. Right. Yeah, that's that's definitely true. Right? You don't need to worry about copywriting. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Well, if it doesn't have a brand, it's pretty easy to remember, isn't it? Right? If you for example, if you call if you call your your the diapers diapers Who's not going to remember the word, the, the brand name diapers? Right? Okay. Yeah. It's like the rinso. The what? El rinso. Ah, yeah, exactly. That, that's actually a brilliant um, example. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who's, who's going to forget that, uh, that rinso is rinso? Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, does that make sense? Yes. Yeah, okay. All right, good. Okay, so that was a little bit about Yisri's class. Okay, now what we're gonna do is the following. We're gonna look at vocabulary. It says, match the type of branding to its correct description. Okay, we have compare your answers with a classmate. So we have product branding, personal branding, corporate branding, geographical branding and cultural branding. We're gonna match them. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Yes, teacher. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna put you in pairs. You guys can work together. Okay, um, I'll give you about seven minutes to work on that. So clean off the rooms. Here we go. Carolina?
Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Eh, otra vez me quedé aquí en suspenso, pero ahorita me salgo okay. porque voy entrando. Vaya. Gracias, teacher. Ok. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello. Uh, I have a question. Is Marlene here? Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Marlene here. Okay. okay, I didn't see, but see, yes, yes, Marlene, but, yeah. but she doesn't have a microphone. Yes, that, that's exactly, uh, that's exactly why I was asking, porque, mm -hmm. es que veo, bueno. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Yeah, okay, all right, continue. Okay, thank you. Uh, okay, um, number I think the first one, the, the first one is corporate branding and then geographical branding. The practice of people marketing themselves and their career as a brand, personal branding. A type of branding that develops a reputation about the environment and people of a particular location or nationality. Uh, cultural branding. And it is how a product interacts with its customers' audience through design, logo, and advertising. Product branding. Okay, I'm going to write the, the answer that I think uh, that I can start mm, number three four Mm -hmm. 
Number five and the last one is number one. Okay, I write it in the, I just write it in the chat. Okay, a mí me ha quedado eh, tres, cuatro, dos, cinco. Hi guys. Hi teacher. Um, are you guys finished? Uh, um, almost finished. Yeah, oh, almost. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll give you a little bit more time. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, cultural branding, a type of branding that develops a reputation about the environment and people of a particular location or nationality. Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. Then uh, product branding. Yes, mm -hmm. That's all. Yes, that's all, teacher. We finished, teacher. Mm -hmm. Finished. Yes. See. Okay. Wonderful. I'll see you in the main room in a few. In a few. Okay. 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 Yes. It is too late. Oh, yeah. Teacher, we're already finished. Okay, perfect. Um, I'll see you in the main room in a moment. Okay, thank you. And you live far away from your, from your job. At least. Hello. Hello, teacher. We we finished. Oh, perfect. Okay, great. Okay. Okay. Okay, all right. So I think uh, the majority of you, of you are already finished. So let's check the answers. Um, hold on. Okay. All right, so let's see. Product branding. Um, you guys can open up your microphone. So we don't have to, um, you know, spend too much time on this. So product branding would be. It is how a product how interacts product with interacts. its customer audience through the sign logo and advertising. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. 
So branding has to do with design, logo, advertising, all of those things. Yes. Logo. 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 Okay. Personal branding. Uh, the purchases of the marketing team and their sellers and they work as brand. Yes. The practice of um, the practice of um, people of people marketing themselves and their careers as brands. Um, I'll yes. give you an example. Madonna. Yes. You guys know who Madonna is? The singer. You know who Madonna is? If I say to you Madonna, do you know? Yes. She is famous. Yeah. And she is her own personal branding. Exactly. She is a personal brand and she actually registered her name so that mm -hmm. so that nobody could be called just Madonna. There's nobody in the world that can be called just Madonna. If they want, they can be called Madonna, but they would have to give like a last name or something like that. But just Madonna, oh, there's only one Madonna that because she has done a personal branding on her. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay, good. Corporate branding. It refers to the practice of promotion, the brand name of a corporate and opposes to a specific role or service. Okay, Can someone give me an example of corporate branding. <sighs> Yeah. This is a corporation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Elus. Calleja. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So they're not really, um, they're not really, like, they don't really promote their products so much as they promote their name. Right? So it's like. Yeah, so um, yeah, they they the idea is that um, recognize the corporation before you recognize the product or services, right? That's what they're aiming to be recognized as a company, not as products or services. Okay, next, uh, geographical branding. Is connection between a product and the identity of a geographical region. A geographical region. Okay. Um, all right. What could you give me an example of this? Mexico. <laughs> Uh, could be the flavors of the Coca Cola. No. Flavors of the Coca Cola. Or uh, the Coca Cola has different type of, of sodas in different countries. I don't know. Could be the tacos and the pupusa. Salvacola. Okay. Very low, San Andres. Uh, I'm thinking about food. Okay. Because we have different um, preference or typical food, for example, in regions, so we can um, have advantage of that. Yeah, um, 
trying to think of something. About pupusas. Mm, but remember, this is, we're talking about branding. Put in a name, a brand. Okay. Um, I'm not sure. Biggest. La más seca. Remember, it has to be a geographical region. Yeah, geographical region. Pollo Campero? Uh, coffee, La Majada. La Majada Coffee. Café Juan Valdez. No. Failure San Andrés. No. Let me think, let me, trying to think of something that would. Uh... Teacher, for example, when you go to a taco, uh, I don't know, it's something like that. They have a, a Jose a taco is like a brand. Yes, yes, exactly. Uh, you're absolutely right. Um, yeah. People know El Salvador for a good coffee. Right, but we're, remember, we're not talking about products or services. We're talking about branding right now. Okay. Okay. Um, and when you say sort of city too? Yes. Okay, I'll give you an example. Um, Okay, if you, yeah, okay, I'll give you another one. Okay, uh, if, uh, if you see, if you see um, there, well, probably, um, I don't know if you, they still exist, but there, um, you know, there is film, um, like photo films that is called uh, Fuji, right? And you will you will normally see like the 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 um, picture the logo let's say of Mount Fuji, yeah. And so that uh, automatically makes you think of where, Japanese or of Japan, right? Yeah. Or you see the Eiffel Tower. What do you think? When you see the let's say on a on a uh, on a t-shirt, Eiffel Tower, what do you think? The tower. Yes, but that, I have the Eiffel Tower. Where, what, what do you associate it with? France. France. Yeah? Does that make sense? But the tower, the Eiffel Tower is a brand. It, 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 it can be like a, a like a logo type, right? So shit. Or for example, uh, McDonald's. Um, no, because that really is not associated with a, a, a specific place, geographical place. Um, Everest, Mount Everest. It's about the environment in the different countries. For example, Taj Mahal. Yes. It's attractive for the tourists and is is um, about one country in a specific. Yes, but we're not talking about we're, we're talking about branding. So it's uh, 
a specific um, a specific um, what's the word um, a brand a specific product that has that name um, I'll give you another one to make it a little bit easier for you to to think about um, Give me a moment. Okay, have you ever seen, have you ever seen um, a logo on a t-shirt that says I, and there's a heart, and it says NY. I, yes. heart, Y. <laughs> Yes. I love New York. Exactly. I love New York. That is a brand name. And it's a it's 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 a geographical branding because obviously you associate it with a with a specific geographical part, but it's also a brand name. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, the uh somebody I didn't I don't remember who said it, but um, somebody said here, Salvacola. Yes. Also, that would be a geographical branding. Yeah? Because... And like the, the ex-Banco Cucatlan, too. They used some margins from the Mayas. Right. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Even, even the fact that it's called Cuscatlan, that, that itself is a geographical branding. Because Cuscatlan is the name they, they used for for El Salvador for this this area. Or now the Bank Colombia too. Bank of America. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you guys get that idea? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Yes. Perfect. Okay. And finally, the mm -hmm. most one, but let's try it out. Uh, the cultural branding. It is how a product interacts with its consumers, audience, through design, logo, and advertising. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm a little confused. Cultural branding is then then therefore this is number four. Yeah. No. Um, it's similar. Yes, similar but not the same. No, and the cultural branding is. No, no, no. What's the, the what is the the definition? This one, right? Line number four. Yeah, a type of branding that develops a reputation about the environment and people of a particular location or nationality. Okay. All right. So that's why it's cultural branding because it's a. Uh, a people of particular location or nationality, not necessarily ge geographical region, but location or nationality. So like I said, similar to geographical branding, but not the same. Okay, does that make sense or no?
Yes, no. Tell me about it. Like uh, Guadalupe Lake. Mm. Remember, a type of branding. Marco. What? First of all, let, let's, let's, what, what is branding? We have to understand what is branding to understand everything else. What is branding? It's a marker. A what? It's a process um, to create a product and present it to the customers. The mm name -hmm. of. The name of what? The brand. Um, I think in this case of like Coca Cola. Mm, I think um because um the this this brand obtained um um iconic status with their cultural branding model. Mm. The thing is that Coca Cola doesn't really have a culture. Yes, it kind of refers to any anybody at all. Yeah. Um, but cultural branding. Let me think of, of a cultural branding. Um, Are they whole beer? That would be more. Oh well, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, could be, yeah. Yeah, could be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Beer center. Mm. But the word Pilsner, Cadejo, yes, because there's a like a legend, <laughs> right? There's something cultural there about legend. But Pilsner doesn't really have like anything like a legend. A teacher, a, for example, a cola, cola champán is. Mm -hmm. Could be. Yeah. Uh, teacher, tell me if I am wrong, but for example, we have a, a, a brand in El Salvador that is Marca País. I don't know if this if this is like a cultural branding. What is the name of the, uh, um, what is the name? It's uh, the Marca País, La Marca del Salvador. Eh, se pone El Salvador en, en, en comerciales o en anuncios que tengan que ver con algo del país. Okay, yeah, that could work. Cultural branding. Teacher, for example, La Tecleña Bakery. La Tecleña Bakery would be not cultural branding, but geographical branding. Because La Prensa I, Gráfica. Uh, Mm -hmm. Not really, because it doesn't it doesn't have anything to do with the culture. It's the, the important thing here is culture. Okay. I'll give you an example. There is a, a group. There was a group. Uh, not the, in in. Um, hold on. Mm. Oh, there, I don't know if you guys remember uh, a few years ago, there was a group that was, uh, they shortened their name to DLG. There was, it was a musical group that was called DLG. Do you guys remember that? DLG, no? No, no? Oh, they, they, well, they, uh, they sang like salsa and, uh, Bachata. They are from El Salvador. 
No, no, we're nope. They're 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 um they have the song where it's the, they called um there's a, this song that goes um. Quiero morir. Uh huh. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Yo la quiero morir. Eh. No. Oh, remember that? Okay. All right. So that's that group is called DLG. But the reason why I'm I'm bringing them into into account is because DLG is short for dark Latin groove. Dark Latin groove. So their brand name contains the word Latin. So they are this is a cultural branding because they are talking about being Latin Latinos. Yeah, it's part of their name. So that maybe we can use the, the name for yeah. La Nena de Caña too. <laughs> Marito Rivera. How's that? The Caña is, is from El Salvador. We have the mayor production for sugar in Central America. Could be, yeah. Yeah. The Broder of Flores. Mm -hmm. So the, the idea is that you that people associate something with not a particular place, but a culture. A, like, There's a uh, teacher I was watching on TV about a festival uh, from Peru, Peru, Peru. Mm -hmm. uh, and they have a, the name of Peru as a, as a brand. So it represents all, the, all their culture. So maybe it can be <laughs> an example of that. Okay. Uh, I I haven't seen it, but maybe, yeah, mm -hmm, maybe, yeah. Does that make sense for you? So yes. the difference between geographical and and cultural branding. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So it. Cultural branding is, is more about like it, it, it's not about a particular place, but more about it's more encompassing. Okay. All right. Okay. So, having said that, let's move on to the next part. So, uh, we have these questions when, we are, when we're doing product branding, we can ask ourselves these questions. What does your business or product do? What problem do you solve for the customer? Um, who are your three main competitors? Okay. What is the primary message do you want to convey um, to your customers? What are five adjectives or words that best describe your company? So when you are cre creating a, a product branding, you should be asking yourself these questions. But if, if imagine that instead of doing a product branding you're, or a service branding, you're doing a personal branding, okay? In that case, you have a, what service do you have to offer to people? That's the first question you have to ask yourself. What do you do that makes you stand out from everyone else? So what's different about you that no one else has? What are your biggest competitors and what are they doing to brand themselves? Think about other people that are your competitors and what are they doing in this moment to make themselves a brand? What do you want your personal brand to convey? So what, what message do you want to make it come across? And what adjectives do you want people to associate with you as the product and why? Okay, so think about adjectives. What, what, how do you want people to see you? Are the questions pretty clear? I'm not on the stage. 
Okay, what part? Create the basic process. Um, I'm only talking about this. Mm -hmm. o sea, ahorita les estoy preguntando si tienen preguntas sobre esto. About yes. this. Do you have any questions about this? No, teacher. So right now we're just concentrating on these questions here. Do we understand these questions? Do they make, do they make sense? Yeah, maybe. I have a question. Uh -huh. And I don't understand the question number four in the product branding. What is the primary message you want to convey to your customers? What is it mean? It means what, what is the idea that you want your customers um your customers to or what 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 message you want to transmit mm. okay it's a short answer or mm, also, like these are just questions that you should ask yourself if you want to make a product branding or a personal branding okay okay so those those okay. will help you to figure it out Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Do we understand the questions? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yes. All right. Sorry, guys. I made a mistake. It's not working. Paris is working groups, but let me stop there. Okay. The list. Hmm? The list. Check. The the um. The attendance. Yeah, I'll I'll check in a moment. First, let me um explain the activity. Mm. Give me a moment. Okay, so first of all, you're going to choose a well-known product or service in the national market, okay? Any well-known product. You're not creating a product. Let me clarify that. You are not creating a product. You're choosing a product that is well-known, that people already know it, or a service that people already know it. You're going to be answering the guiding questions, so these questions. Create the basic, the basic profile of the brand for the product or service you choose. Repeat the process to de um, develop the basics of your personal branding. Does that make sense? So you are going to choose a well-known product and answer these questions for that product. Then you're going to do a personal branding and you're going to be answering these questions. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, great. All right. So what I'm going to do now is take attendance. Uh, Ani? Present, teacher. Okay, welcome. Mm, Ana Maria? Ana Maria? Carolina? Present. Welcome. Emily? Present. Thank you. Hazel? Hazel? Joanna? Present teacher. Great. Uh, Jorge? 
Present teacher. Excellent. Um, Karina? Karina? Carla? Present teacher. Great. Uh, Santiago? Hey, Linda? Present teacher. Linda. Marlene? Present. Marlene? Present. Nelson? Present. Thank you. Norma? Norma? Um, Olga? Present teacher. Okay, good. Miguel? Present. Okay. Rocio? Present. Okay, well. Um, Beatriz? Present. Great. Sul um, Sulema? Present teacher. Great. Tatiana? Present teacher. Great. Nelson? Nelson? A? Omar? Present, Miss. Sulema Melgar? And Jose Rodrigo. Okay, good. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make new groups and you're gonna be working um, in groups of three approximately. Make the groups. Okay, and I'm gonna give you about 20 minutes to do this. Okay, here we go. Let's open up the room. Beatriz, Sulema. Beatriz, Sulema. Service. Okay. First of all, we we have to choose the the well known branding, well known product. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, product branding. Uh, uh, I have. Well, well no product. Ajá, eh, vaya, eh, tenemos que relacionar eh, el cuadrito, entiendo, eh, la marca del producto con la marca personal, o sea, la del producto es el, el referente a nuestra empresa y la otra es eh, si usted quiere hacer una marca personal. Ahora, para sí. escoger, tenemos que escoger un, un producto well known product mm -hmm. national market luego crear un perfil de la marca para el producto national, national market 
Ajá. Podría ser... Apoyo campero. Ya, yeah, podría ser. Ok. Ok. Product branding. Product branding. Apoyo ah, campero. Apoyo campero. Then we have to respond that. Mm -hmm. What does your business product do? What does your business product do? Mm -hmm. uh, is uh, sell, sell pollo campero. Mm -hmm. Uh, or, or, or is self-self uh, self food? O sea, what does your business? Mm -hmm. What is tu negocio or producto? Um. What does your product do? Mm -hmm. Your product do? Ah. Ah, sería... Ah, gracias. Sería en... Um, um, product do is... Um, sell... Uh, Service health. Uh, is then is a service. Yeah. Service. Food service is a food service. Sell pollo campero. Mm -hmm. Food service. Ah, food service. Service. Uh, um, what does your product do? Is, your product do is sell, sell pollo campero. Sell pollo campero. Huh? Luego, uh, what problem do you solve for your customer? What problem do you solve for your customer? Mm -hmm. um, the, the delivery? The delivery? Um, the price? The uh, decline? Um, eh, servir, place. servir el, el pollo a tiempo podría ser una cosa. Uh, reduce the time to, to, to give the, the pollo. Sir, eh, sir chicken on time. Uh, but how do you use, do you write that part? Uh, um, this can ser. No dijo cuántos problemas da. No. No. Eh, otra cuestión sería. Eh, eh, que la orden esté completa también podría ser otra. Uh, mejorar el sabor. 
También. Improve the taste. Improve the taste. Taste. It's easier than the other one to to write. Or uh, reduce the time to to reduce the time to give the clients give the the customers or the clients mm -hmm. the food reduce the time to to entregar to give reduce the time to to service or to give the clients the reduce the time to give the client the clients their food Okay. Okay. Teacher, we have, we have a little question about this. Um, teacher, are you here? Teacher, I am. Ventilador, please. You can't hear me? Yes, right now, yes. Yeah, me huh? Please your question. Okay. Uh, we want to know if we have to respond the, these uh, questions with the brand that we choose. For example, we will choose Poquitas Diana, and we have to respond the product branding questions. Yes. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is the process? That is correct. Okay. Okay. And we don't use personal branding to answer the questions. The second time, yes. The first time you complete the, the product and for the second one you do um, personal branding. But we have to choose two brands. Or just mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. Or it's about the personal. Yeah, personal. Brand. It is you. You are the brand. It's are you are the the product. Okay. You are the brand. And if I if I don't <laughs> the brand, it's like we have to do like three personal brandings for us. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The second time you would do it for yourself. Okay. What? Second time it would be individually. Okay. And we have to make a presentation for this. No. No. Okay. Just answer the questions and, right. and it's all. Okay. Okay. Product branding, what does your business product do? Um, what does your business? Poquitas Diana make um, um, what is your business? How can I say boquitas in English? Snacks. Snacks. Uh, Some snacks. Make snacks. Mm -hmm. Um with different flavors. Flavors and sizes. Um, and 
In candies too? Yes. And this, uh, what else? Or only candies, snacks. Snacks and candies. And nuts and candies. Okay. Mm -hmm. Boquitas Diana makes snacks and candy with different flavors and sizes for all the family. What problem do you solve for your customers? <laughs> what do you what? solve for the custom? What, is, what, pro what, what problem do you solve for your customers? Mm. <laughs> I think that um, uh, the principal problem that Boquitas Diana solve is, for example, when you are when your family uh, with your family and you don't know how you can uh, give to them. Uh, like a an, an snack or, or a little meal. Mm -hmm. Just to share. In this moment, for, for example, if you want to see a movie and you don't have, um, you don't want to give any meal, uh, you can use um, snacks. <laughs> yeah. With, with lemon and it's like more like than than give um, a food or or meal. Mm. I, I think, juice. I think this is a is a good option for the soul. Uh, and um, I think that um, book book. Boquitas Diana solve the problem. For example, when you want to um, eat a dessert and you and you don't want to eat like a cake, and you just yes. buy a, a little yeah. box, a little I'm sorry, a, a little bag for candies in the store, and you uh, satisfy your your the sale. How you say the sale? Teacher, how do you say the sale? Oh, wish. No. Yeah, but. Pero es como. It's no like desear a, algo, sino como un. Un antojo. Uh, ajá. Antojo. Ajá. Ay, es como se dice, yo lo aprendí. Era. Teacher, how Wim, do you say Wim? No, remember. No, remember. Is it Wim? Or Wim. Uh -huh. W H. Yes, it was the teacher. I think no. It's here. Creo que está cenando. ¿Y por qué ahí está? Enjoy your food. <laughs> Teacher, we need you. No. Nothing. It's a swim. I'm talking with swim. Swim. W. H. I. M. Swim. It's como refrigerio, no? Wim or crabbing, crabbing. Wim es 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 como capricho. Mm. Lo puse como alto. Crabbing. 
Crabbing is como ansiedad de. Tal. El whim, según uh, sale como dos opciones: sudden desire and silly idea. Es que snacks significa merienda. También. Ajá. Entonces son como, o sea, pequeñas merienditas. Ajá, o sea, ajá, con el. Como merienda. Entonces podríamos como poner entre como. Comida. Ajá, ajá, cabal. It's a little snack for the a moment with uh, is now the no no tiene traducción boquitas boquitas tiene no tiene boquitas no tiene traducción ¿Mm? no creo que tendría porque es la marca entonces sería uh -huh. el nombre propio de la marca uh -huh. de la marca uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pero, es, pero es como un uh -huh. okay what problem do you solve for your customers cómo lo podríamos redactar lo que ya dijimos Así para que la tengamos what, todo. Man. What problem do you solve for um, it's a, Maybe it's a little snack for uh, a moment when it's not time for the almuerzo or la comida. Lunch. Uh -huh. Diner. Diner. ¿Cómo es? No. no. Diner es cena. Dinner. 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 Uh -huh. It's is is más common for maybe lunch or uh -huh, or dinner because the dinner maybe is not is not. No, in lunch. It's not yet for maybe the home or oh, more or less. In refrigerio, right? Uh huh. No sé. Vamos a ver cómo what do you ve. think, Joanna? Hmm? What do you think for reading the letter? For what? Okay. What do you think for the reading for the answer? For um, it can be it can solve the problem. Um, when you have. Como que está complicado lo de la boquita, tía. familiar is in the house. Porque dice, ¿qué hace tu negocio? Marca del producto, boquita, Diana. ¿Qué hace tu negocio o producto? ¿Qué problema resuelves para tus clientes? With everyone. Okay, yo le puse, what problem do you solve for your customers? Um, Boquitas Diana can solve the problem, for example, when you have many familiars in the house and you want to give a snack to share with everyone. Yes, but... I don't know. Es que está, está difícil de redactarlo, la verdad. <risa> Estoy Pensame. pensando y si, y si cambiamos mejor otra Ajá. de servicio o producto. Uh -huh. Y si lo hacemos, lo hacemos con una un tipo de compañía como digo cosas así telefonía 
Tal vez. Pero Tigo no es del Salvador, Tigo es. Ah. No sé de dónde es. Movistar creo que sí era del Salvador, pero la compraron. Pero no necesariamente tiene que ser del país, ¿o sí? Dice, elegir un producto o servicio conocido en el mercado nacional. Conocido. Pero no sé. Conocido en el mercado no nacional. nacional. No se dice ah, nacional. Ajá. Dice conocido a nivel nacional. Ajá. Entonces podríamos usar como, o sea, lo entiendo que no como el, que está en todo el país. Podría Ajá. Ser. No sé qué piensas. Pues ocupemos tigo. Está super Siento fácil. que podría ser más fácil para el, los competidores lo, la solución de problemas. Ok. Uh -huh. Va a intentar. Un what does your business or product do? Is the um, service the internet con, internet service and uh, the um, línea de teléfono? Sí, has. What does your product do? Give. Eagle uh, gives. More uh, opportunities. Opportunities to communicate. Also, is creating news of the place when when the when when they new restaurants maybe new restaurant the biggest competitor is Pro Campestre they are doing new promotion and discounts also is creating new restaurants in all the country in the whole country What do you want your personal brand to convey? Um. Uh. Because it's a personal branding, you have to be answering that question individually and sharing with your classmate. So can you repeat, please, teacher? Because that is, that, that question is it's for personal branding, right? So only you can answer that question about yourself. Yeah, so you share that information with your group. Mm. Okay. Okay. It's, it's not a, a presentation for all the. No, because personal branding here, it's individually like person, it's personal. Yes, but we discussed this question just between the three classmates in this chat. That's right. Okay. What do you want your personal brand to convey? Personal. 
what do you want to your personal brand to convey? The quality of the product and, and flavor, flavor is chicken. Um, the prefer uh, the client, in the client. In what? Sorry, repeat the, in about what, what? Um, era, eh, ay, se me vino la idea. Era, eh, eh, the flavor chicken. Uh, the quality, the quality of the product and uh, the favorite. Uh, Did this answer, the client. this answer for what do you want your personal brand to convey? Mm -hmm. Uh, I, in my opinion or my idea is to, that is a national brand mm -hmm. and unique taste. Yeah. And the, the last one say, what adjective do you want to people to associate with you? With you as the product. Hello, Suleyma. Hello, teacher. Ve, no me había avisado el, aquí que estaba usted acá. No me había avisado en la plataforma. Ah, ok. Pero aquí estaba trabajando los, las preguntas. Ok. All right, I'll, I'll, I'm going to bring everybody back. Excuse me. I'm going to bring everybody back. Okay. How to This is exercise is with a brand recognized and with our product or not. It's a, we're, we were talking about the product and you're talking about personal branding with your, with the group. 
Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, all right, guys. Um, all right. Um, did we finish? No, no teacher. No? No. no. Okay. Five minutes more. Five more minutes? Five minutes more. Oh, my, sorry. My camera. Okay. Bye. Mm -hmm. More time. So how much more time? Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Ten minutes, I think. Twenty minutes. Remember, the personal branding is, so personal branding is for every person individually. Como es personal, entonces no puede, no puede ser de grupo. Does that make sense? So entonces all, cada uno tiene que hacerlo, digamos. Yeah, everybody's going to mm -hmm. talk about their own personal, so the questions are for yourself and you can tell your group about it. Does that make sense? No lo vamos a compartir con todos en la clase. No, you don't need to. Just ah, okay. Uy. Okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. I'm opening the and, and the product, the uh, the, the, the product uh, yes. Ah, branding. Yes, that one, yes. But with the personal, because it's personal, you can't okay. you can't do it as a group. Ah, okay, okay. Me entiendes, but it's algo individual porque es personal. So. All you can do is talk about it in your group. Okay. All right, here we go. Like a uh, uh, example, Madonna is personal, but you can talk here. Uh, but in the case you like a uh, like a, a a worker, a worker, I don't know. Is the we we can sell our self I think to get a job or if you have a special for example I I I I'm inventing right now but I sing in, at my church and I usually go to the you sing the, go, go to sing to the weddings and special celebrations and I I think I can sell <laughs> my my service, my 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 personal branding about um, my service of sing or your voice. Uh, uh, I think I'm inventing. <laughs> oh. I don't know what do you think. Uh, about uh, product branding or product branding or personal branding no, uh, about personal branding because product branding I think we are all right I think. <laughs> oh, it's rainy. It's my really? Time. Yeah. Oh, I'm sleepy. 
the matter the environment is so sweet right now. Thanks. Carla, could you what? please write again the the last answer for the product brand? Because I love it. I love it. I think that is the, the answer. The quality safety good. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Got it. Thank you. Let me um I don't know about um the the personal branding in my case. I think I could be uh, name um my brand of officers because um, I I like to cook and. And I like to uh hello. Hello, teacher. Um, what happened? Are we finished or what, what happened? I'm working in the personal brand. Oh, okay. But that's just you share with, with the class. Mm. You just you just have to sorry with your group. You just have to share with your group. My group. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Miguel, so yes, finish. Yes. Finish. Yeah. Yes, finish. Okay. Um. Okay. Ten minutes. It's communicated. AC connection. Entertainment. Uh -huh. Entertainment oh, in the navigation. Number, number five. Navigator. Navigator. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo se dice? What is the primary message uh, you want to convey to your customers? Is facilitar, ¿cómo se dice? Facilitar, facilitar la comunicación con rapidez. Faster. 
that first. The con facilidad, facilita. Maybe it's working about the business is easy. Mm -hmm. Facilitar que la comunicación, no sé, no sé si está bien o, o otra palabra. Podría ser porque a, because about the, the line, about the, the fonts, is, uh -huh, is about the internet connection maybe it's, it's for easy you know, about the business or que les parece provide a good communication everywhere and in every moment in every moment uh -huh. it's the same about it's the same only the other words Mm -hmm. uh, what are five adjectives or words that best describe your company? The adjectives, five adjectives mm -hmm. or words is communication, communication, connection, entertainment, mm -hmm. instant navigator, navigation, navigation, navigation entertainment. Enter, 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 en, en, enter, entertainment, entertainment, Pone enter, entertainment, entertainment, okay. uh, otras? Communication, connection, entertainment. Mm -hmm. uh, easy communication, connection, entertainment, and funny. Mm -hmm. bah, terminamos. Mm -hmm. You're finished? Yeah. Oh. Yes, you're finished? Yes, teacher. All right. Okay, great. Excellent. See you in the main room. Words. Crafty bags, Repeat the process to the belief. Okay, you guys are ready? You're finished? Yes? Yes. Okay. Um, all right, well, right now we're not going to, um, we're not gonna present because obviously we don't have enough time. So, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take notes of who, uh, was in which group and uh, we'll do that tomorrow okay we're going to be presented tomorrow we're going to continue right now with the rest of the class okay. um can you see my powerpoint Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. All right. What I want you guys to do, um, I'm going to put you back into group. This time you're going to be discussing these two questions. Is a weak friend a good investment? And what happens when a brand doesn't meet consumers' expectations? Okay. You understand? What is the meaning of weak? 
Weak is the opposite of strong. Strong. Okay. Weak. It's like weakness. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's clear. Yes. Okay. All right. So don't pay attention to the conversation. Just discuss those questions. Those two questions. Okay. Oh, here we go. I'm going to put you back into your groups. Okay, and just discuss those two questions. Here we go.